adulthood if it is your first time here first things first more than likely you're watching this video on my birthday so happy birthday to me and shout out to all my fellow libras out there i hope you guys have a wonderful season and i hope you guys have a fabulous birthday so on to this video on today's video i'm going to be introducing you to one of my new friends she is from sensational and she is an empress lace front wig her name is megan and the color i'm going to be showing you is sm1b 350 27 so if you're interested in seeing this wig and seeing what it looks like fresh out the box and watching me style it and things like that then definitely stay tuned for the rest of this first video things first oh i have a shirt on I'm, I'm not naked obviously I wouldn't be filming naked but I just wanted you to guys know I have a shirt on it's just a tube top which is why you can't see it but the wig is another wig from a beauty supply store it's not the same one that I got it from the first time but it is from a beauty supply store it was $42.99 because it was the last the, the last wig in this color they took off the tax I didn't have to pay for tax so it was exactly $42.99 um, this is what the wig looks like fresh out the box without me doing anything to it so it has the lace let me flip it inside out and it has a little bit of a part so this is how much parting you have as far as um lace well obviously so this is how much parting you have this is what the tracks look like when you flip it over it's pretty full i feel like even if the wind were to blow your track is not gonna show it's pretty full this is what the part looks like from the outside it's not super close together like i don't feel like you're gonna it's the type of parting where you're gonna need a lot of tweezing i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put something white underneath it so that you guys can see it better okay so i put on i put a white shirt underneath so that you guys are able to see the part better this is what the part looks like and this is what i meant that you don't need it doesn't need a lot of it doesn't require a lot of tweezing because as you can tell it's not really really close together um to begin with as far as the color the top is like brown and underneath you have this nice on camera it's coming off like red but in person it's more blonde than red so on camera it's like uh like an auburn color but in real life it's blonde it's not super duper duper blonde but it's blonde it's not auburn. let's go back to the inside of the wig we have two wig clips right here and then we have an adjustable adjustable uh an adjustable strap and then at the bottom we have one another comb that's a lot wider than the two in the front so all together it's three clips two on each side and one larger one at the bottom and again it has the adjustable strap so yeah it's pretty it's pretty secured with just these two things but with me whenever I wear wigs I also put um I also put bobby pins on my hair just so that I feel a little bit more secure. I want to feel like if the wind is blowing, my wig is not going to fall off. So, yeah. Um, going back to color. So, like we already spoke about, the top is brown. You might not be able to see on, camera, on the camera, but there are some few strands that are red as well. And then at the front, at the, like, at the edges... It's also red oh if I put it closer you can kind of see it so you see the hints of red so the red is so um like not really out there that it's probably only under the sunlight that you'll be able to see it the main colors are the brown that's on top and the blonde on the bottom which again I said it's coming off reddish on camera but in real life it's actually blonde what else time for us to try in this wig so that we can end this video and i can go eat and be normal again first things first 
So you guys see basically where it reaches me. This doesn't specify how long it is, but I'm base I'm five six and it, the ending of the curl reaches up to about like my boobs. I'm just gonna keep running my hands through it to like make it look a little bit less messy. What I can already tell is like as soon as I run my hands through it, the curls kind of drop. So just be careful. Alright, let's untangle, untangle, untangle. So this is what the wig looks like when I first put it on. I like it. The only thing I don't like is like, bruh, it looks like I'm just balls right here. There's nothing there. So I'm gonna try and the the keyword is try to do some baby hairs and all of that stuff. And then I'll come back to you guys and and we'll see if there there is any and we'll see if there is any different for this so we're back I'm done with the little tweaks that I, I said I was gonna do the baby hair things was not a go I cut I did cut off some parts of the hair but as far as the sleeking down I'm not that person like I know on a regular basis that I don't sleep down the baby hairs of wigs so I'm not gonna do it just for YouTube okay like when I'm looking for a wig, I like things that as soon as you put it on instantaneously, it's it's a go. It's not something where you have to do a lot of work to. And this wig is definitely that type of wig. As you saw from before, the part, it already comes with the part already a decent space. So that way you don't have to do a whole bunch of tweezing. But the part is also not super far apart where it's like you have to fill it in with um, black eyeliner or things like that. This wig is super easy and it's really secure. Right now, the only clip I'm using is the one in the back. I don't like to use the side clips because I feel like they pull on your edges. So I don't like to use them. Usually I put bobby pins, but even without the bobby pins in right now, it feels really secure. Um, I think I might cut the bottom just a little bit only because I don't like that super full up here, but then like kind of stringy and long down here. Look. Um, so I might cut it, but not 100%. This is definitely going to be one of the wigs that I wear for my birthday weekend. I really like it. Like I said, like we spoke about before, it's the type of, it's not the type of wig where once the wind blows, your, um, tracks is going to show or anything like that. It's, it's kind of like, I mean, it, it is the type of wig that you're going to get hot with. I don't know if it's because I have the lights on me, but it's definitely at this moment making me hot. Yeah. But overall, I love this hair, so I'm going to give you guys some more details about it. It is not human hair. It is 100% premium fiber, So, but it does say you can, it's safe up to 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning you can use a flat iron or a curling iron on it. I personally won't be doing that because I just have had bad experiences trying to put heat on synthetic hair. So, but if you're into the, to that, you can, you can do that. It does have a natural curved part, so the part is not like just straight back, it curves. So if you wanted to, to make it look even more natural, you can cut out the, the lace part, add some wig combs on either side, and then take out your hair if like it's perms or if you don't mind flat ironing your hair, and then leaving it out to make it look like you have a sew-in rather than a wig. I would give this out of a 10 a 9. I really like it. I like the fact that it doesn't require too much to make it look like something. Like I said, I did three things. I tweezed, added foundation, and I sleeped on my edges. And even the tweezing wasn't really, really required. I just wanted to. to I just wanted to. It's, um, yeah, I didn't do too much tweezing to it. I like that there's no smell. The, the length is great, the color is amazing, and overall it's a great wig. If you're looking for a like old Hollywood, a little bit of glam in your life, and you're not trying to spend like $200, $300, then def definitely this is an option. I'm not sure how long it'll last. Um, I would try to do an update video on this hair, but to be honest, I don't know if I'd be wearing this every day. 
so I might not do an update video but if I end up wearing this consistently for let's say a month I'll definitely do an update video to let you guys know a, you know how long like the longevity basically the life of this wig so that's pretty much the video if you guys have any questions please feel free to write it down below I can't think of things that you know you might want to know so it's better if you just write down your questions and I'll do my best to answer them I will also leave the link to this hair in the description bar if there is a link because like I said I walked to the beauty supply store and I got it but if I'm able to find the link then I'll definitely send it to you guys um, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to press a thumbs up button and also make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos from me